This is a piece from a long story. Alva Perry, whom Jane Bowles describes as a dignified and reserved woman of Scotch and Spanish descent in her early 40s, and John Drake, who owns a delivery truck, have lived in the same tenement building for many years but never met till he helps her carry in a bag of potatoes. She invites him for a potato bake, which is the plain pleasure, and in return, he invites her to dinner in a restaurant, which is where this takes place. She looked around her. I remember him, she said, pointing a long arm at the proprietor, who just stepped out of the kitchen. How are you after these many years, she called to him. Mr. Drake was hesitant about what to do. He hadn't realized that Mrs. Perry was getting as drunk as she seemed to be now. Ordinarily, he would have felt embarrassed and would have hastened to lead her out of the restaurant, but he thought that she might be more approachable drunk, and nothing else mattered to him. I'll stay with you as long as you like, he said. His words spun around Mrs. Perry's mind, what are you making a bid for anyway, she asked him, leaning back heavily against the bench. Nothing dishonorable, he said. On the contrary, something extremely honorable, if you'll accept. Mr. Drake was so distraught that he didn't know exactly what he was saying, but Mrs. Perry took his words to mean a proposal of marriage, which was unconsciously what he had hoped she would do. Mrs. Perry looked at even this exciting offer through the smoke of her resentment. I suppose, she said, smiling joylessly, that you'd like a lady to mash your potatoes for you three times a day. But I am not a mashed potato masher, and I never have been. I would prefer, she added, raising her voice, I would prefer to have him mash my potatoes for me in a big restaurant kitchen. She nodded in the direction of the proprietor, who had remained standing in front of the kitchen door so that he could watch Mrs. Perry. This time he grinned and winked his eye. Mrs. Perry fumbled through the contents of her purse in search of a handkerchief, and coming upon her sister's string of beads, she pulled them out and laid them in her gravy. I am not a mashed potato masher, she repeated. And then, without warning, she clambered out of the booth and lumbered down the aisle. And that's not how it ends. Thank you. <laughs>